talk something a little different. Uh, is we're going to talk about homemade fire starters. Uh, I got this idea. Um, I've been doing it for a little while at the house. This is our soapstone fireplace, and this is pretty much how we heat our house during the winter with this. And it's made out of soapstone here. It's a good, it's a really good wood burning stove. And I happened to be in Walmart the other day. I was back by the grill section getting some. They have a really good deal at Walmart at these wood chips. It comes four in a box. It's a really good price. And I had the lady talking to her husband saying they didn't have any fire starters. And this is summer here in Texas, and it's kind of unusual for people to talk about that. Is we better buy more this year because we ran out last year for our fireplace. And, the, and he was saying, yeah, they're just so expensive. And she says, yeah, but spending $10 to start six fires is a good price. And I was just amazed that somebody would spend that much money it's just a little simple fire starter. Now there's a lot of ways you can make fire starters, but this is drop dead simple and most people have everything you need right at home all the time to make this. Um, they're easy to make. You can make a bunch of them, keep them in a little Altoid tin, and I just got some. You'll see why I got these gloves on. You don't need the gloves, but uh, I do. Uh, you can keep in an Altoid tin can and make them a couple every couple months and you're good to go. But it's really easy to do and all you need is cotton ball, just regular plain old cotton ball and petroleum jelly or Vaseline, whatever you want to call it here. Uh, make, model, brand, doesn't matter as long as it is 100% petroleum jelly. And what you want to do is just get yourself a nice little gob. The amount really is important. Put it on top of the cotton ball Okay, and I'll go forward a little bit here so you can kind of see. And just start rubbing it in to the cotton ball. Okay, now you know why I'm using these rubber gloves. This is not poor, you can wash your hands afterwards. But for me, it's easy. Now, you have quite a bit on here. You don't want it just totally saturated where it's all petroleum jelly, but you want every fiber coated. So what you want to do is you want to kind of pull it apart like this and fold it in on itself. Now you might have to grab a little more. That's fine. And then you just keep doing this. Pull it apart a little bit. Fold it in on itself. And I'm going to hold this up close so you can see it. It is not... Uh, the bad part about wearing gloves is when you do this a few times you can feel it and know when it's done. Uh, you still want to be able to feel the fibers but you want it slippery that kind of makes sense i'll kind of hold it close you're going to see where it's not saturated you know but every part is coated so i'm going to make another one and again you just glob it on start rubbing it moving it around and about every five ten seconds pull it apart fold it in on itself I got my phone going over there. I actually put it on mute and I apologize about that if you hear the phone going in the background. And if you're the one calling me, sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> it goes through that twice and that's okay if it's gone. It's not that big a deal because this is, don't have to talk much during this anyway. Like I said, just keep moving around. And that's all there's to it. This is a fire starter. Believe it or not, when this lights, this will burn just, just like this for anywhere from three to 10 minutes, which is unbelievable if you think about it. Uh, uh, and and that's, that's all there's to it, to make those. Now, I'm gonna go in a couple other areas that, let me grab a couple of these back here. We use these. And these are called fatwood, okay? And you can kind of see the little pieces here. And, with, and what fatwood is, is, uh, I'm actually gonna pause this and go try to find out what's going on here. Yeah, that, so I apologize. What that actually was, was they actually called four times, it was a salesperson. If you're a salesperson and you call me four times in less than two minutes, I'm not gonna buy anything from you. I don't care what it is. Just letting you know. Okay, 
<coughs> we'll continue on. This is a piece of fat wood. What it is is it was all in a log like this, okay? You know, vertical like this. And pine tree, when they go make pine wood and everything like that, uh, if here's the ground, here's the tree sticking out of the ground, they come by and they cut the tree and they harvest this to make lumber. Well, you got that part, oh, anywhere from here to here down at the base of the ground. It's got a lot of pine sap in it. And what the, these people do is they come in, they core out the middle, and they chip them in pieces. And they're thinner, fatter. You can see here they're all different sizes. Uh, when you're starting one, the thinner the better. But it has a natural sap in it that helps start fires. Or I should say help the longevity and it helps it start a little more and it uh, keeps it going. Uh, I got, we got a new cat here that's going to try to come into the little picture of the kitten. But what it is is, so what I do is I start one of these and I put this over it. And, by the, and this goes for so long, this just blares and this burns for about 20-30 minutes and that gets pretty much anything I want going. So uh, I'm going to put the bag of cotton balls down on the ground for him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, rearrange the camera and show you a couple different ways to start it beside a match uh, to hopefully you guys can do this if you're out camping. Uh, it's very good if you're going camping. Take a few of these, take some of those cotton balls, and I'll show you how you can start the fire if you don't want to carry a lighter around or if your lighter breaks or something like that. Uh, let me rearrange okay. the camera over here. I'm going to show you how you can light these now. Just with a regular lighter, you can light this, you know, and it'll kick off and it'll start immediately, okay? But what you can also do is, if you're camping or something, you can carry this ferris rod, okay? And I got two different styles here. I'll show you both of them. Uh, now, ferris rod always comes with this little thing here. Uh, comes with it. It has a smooth side and a rough side. You want the rough side down. Now, I prefer using my knife. Uh, but your knife has to have a 90 degree angle on the back. You don't use your blade. On the back edge of the knife, you have to have a 90 degree. It has to be steel. It can't be stainless steel or it won't work. But all you do to get this going is when you get these, there'll be a lot of black on his protection. Just scrape that black off. Now, when you use this, okay, and you can use this one, it's whack too, which is nice. You don't scrape down your metal like this. You don't do that. You know, you do not. You put it down there, you hold this in place, and you bring your ferris rod back. So that way you get it right on top. If you put it down, you put it right on top, and you'll get it, you know, you see? And that's all there's to it. So, uh, but what you want to do is, to prepare this, open it up a little bit, so some of those fibers are kind of loose right there. You don't want it all mushed down. If you have a whole bunch of them inside a tin can, it's going to be shoved together. It's going to be hard to light. So what you do is you open it up, and we'll see how long it'll take us here. There you go. Second one. That's all there is to it. And you can bunch it up if you want it to go longer, but it'll go. that'll go for quite a while. That, that'll go a long time. So that's this type of fair start. Now, the other kind of fair start, you do the same thing. You open it up, and then after it's going, you can set, like I was saying, set the fat wood, you know, just on top of it, and it'll start the fat wood on fire. Now you can open it up the same way. This is the kind I like. They come closed like this, okay? You just open it up, bring it around, and this is a plunger here like that and on the one end you're going to have here and now it's not going in very what that does is this puts a little metal I don't know if you can see it in there puts a little metal scrape so when you push down on it if, you're, if you don't push down it's just nothing but if you hold that little thing in you can see it'll produce now you can do this right on paper and a lot of times the paper will start you know just like that let me put that out you see how fast that started if you do it on top of a, a fire starter like that that's like almost instant like that. So uh, that's a couple different ways of how to do that uh, to start the fire. It's uh, 
pretty easy. Just fair starters, and these last a long time. I've used this one to start my fire now for about two or three years at my house, and during the winter times, we start one every day. So these last a long time. You can see it's barely even touched. And if you start to see a flat side, just turn it a little bit, and you're good to go. But literally, that's all. I'm going to put you in here. You can see this here. Uh, that's where it's burning inside the fireplace. And you can see they're barely even started, and it puts out a really good flame. Uh, it, and this will burn for another, I don't know, five, ten minutes. I'll put a thing right here in the video when you see it kind of right in that area, the total time this burned after I'm done. But that's it. I hope everybody liked this video. Uh, have a good day. So don't, please don't buy those fire starters that are real expensive. Just use some cotton balls and some Vaseline. It's really easy. Now you can make char cloth and everything like that, but I'm not going to get into that. Maybe I'll make some char cloth another time. Char cloth starts even easier, but uh, this is far easy. Everybody has it. You don't have to do anything. Even kids can make these. So, you know, I wouldn't teach your kids about fire, but they can at least help you make the fire starter. So that's it. I hope everybody has a great day. Hope this was informative.